Greetings, Internet world. You are now watching Outside the Box, the portable podcast that goes directly to the source of the illest guests in the entertainment industry. I'm your host, Awkwards, and today we have the most ridiculous show for you. I'm so excited about what we're doing right now. We are in the headquarters of the Ernie Reyes Martial Arts, West Coast Martial Arts School here in Campbell, California, and I've got a more than special guest, so we're going to get right to it. I really would like to have a warm welcome to one of the greatest martial artists of all time, the man who beat up The Rock, Don Cheadle, and LL Cool J. <laughs> Fucking Kino from Ninja Turtles 2. He's here. Please make some internet noise at home for the legendary Ernie Reyes Jr. Yes, sir. How are you doing, man? I'm hey, doing good. Thank you for being here, man. Yeah, thank th you so much. Thanks we for having me. appreciate you having us in this uh, surreal headquarters with, like, basically my entire childhood, like, in one room, just, like, hung up on a wall. This, I don't know if you guys see this here. This is, this is absolutely insane. It's so <laughs> surreal. Thank you so much, man. How's everything going with you, man? Yeah, everything's good, man. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be on the show. Uh, glad that we were able to, you know, hook up, you know, via social media. And then yes, now sir. we're here today. So that, yes, that's sir, pretty man. cool. I never, never would have thought that this would have happened. Thank you to Twitter. Very powerful tool. Very powerful tool, man. Um, well, like I said, I want to welcome you to the show. We are going to get into a cool little in-depth run on your life and films. But before we get to that, I just want to, uh, you know, for those that aren't aware, Please let some of the folks know what you've been up to recently, you know, what you're up to. How's uh, life going? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, uh, just constantly, you know, on the grind as we have been doing for the last, you know, 30 years. Yes. Um, so that's just a nonstop thing. It's constantly evolving. Um, but I've had some more uh, interesting life experiences. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. a couple years ago, I had kidney failure. Um, so that's kind of changed my perspective. Yeah. Um, and it kind of pushed me back to, you know, the things that, are important to me and what makes you happy when you Absolutely. realize like hey i could not be here and you are here then it makes you go well i better enjoy life to the fullest Absolutely, and man. because it could just not be here and, yeah. and so that for me means like going back to my martial arts training that's like the way yeah. of life you know that i grew up in that has produced the most positive results in my life mm -hmm. you tend to steer away from that and then find yourself in you know a situation where you know your health is failing and then you have to fight your way back mm -hmm. and that's not an easy thing that's uh not at all. you know i train sometimes at uh at freddie uh, roach's gym wildcard and there's a banner that hangs up there that says you know it ain't easy yeah. and it's like you know <laughs> you set your your sights on becoming a world champion or you know recovering from a major health setback something like that or just accomplishing your dreams in general, you know, that's not easy. You're gonna have a lot of challenges and uh, I always use the martial arts to help me kind of overcome those things. And that's what I've been doing, man, just training, getting back to, uh, you know, my, my roots as a martial artist. I just had a, a black belt training journal uh, that I released yeah, I saw uh, that. Yeah, on Amazon, which was pretty cool. It's like, wow, this is really great that, you know, technology allows somebody like myself who has maybe some knowledge and experience in something share that with other people yeah definitely you said you could get that on amazon yes sir Yeah, definitely look out for that definitely support that i'm gonna be checking it out for sure i've also seen uh you know more recently on the film side of things i've seen you uh you know like i said beat up ll cool j ncis you know what i mean um you're doing i think you, you did some like special effects stuff for avatar even yeah, yeah. so but about. on the ncis la thing that was pretty awesome because you know when i first got into uh films mm -hmm. and television we had moved uh, from San Jose mm -hmm. down to LA, and we were living, my dad and I were living, you know, off Crenshaw in a little garage with no, just a hot plate, and like, and that's just how we got down, you know, yeah, but we yeah. just trained every day and did our yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and LL Cool J and, you know, uh, 1580 K Day AM, like hip hop mm -hmm. was just coming mm -hmm. out, and mm -hmm. so it was like, Oh, LL Cool J. Like, that was one of the yeah, only no, times I was great. just like that's stuck, great. you know, like, oh my God, you know, that's LL <laughs> yeah, Cool J. Like, crazy. I remember like memorizing those raps, uh -huh, you know, and I need uh -huh. love and all uh -huh. that. <laughs> and so it was like, oh, it was one of those moments that I had. I was like, man, that it was just an honor to to work with him. You man, know, just, 
That's super awesome, man, because it's actually something I wanted to ask you later on, kind of, uh, you know, having to do with The Last Dragon and whatnot. But uh, since you brought it up already, like, uh, I, I kind of had a feeling that you you were a hip hop head a little bit in a way. Like, I, you want to I don't I don't know that I've ever heard you speak on it before, but like, what what do you listen to? Like, what you know what I mean? I, yeah. know, I know you were doing the little pop locking and whatnot. Yeah, back so, in the day. Yeah, right? yeah. Tell us about that. Man. Well, you know, uh, it's funny because uh, I mean, I do feel like that. I feel like hip hop is part of who I am. Yeah. Uh, but you know, as far as the music and all the other, uh, I guess, elements of hip hop, mm -hmm. I was really entrenched in martial arts, like mm -hmm. so deep mm -hmm. that there wasn't any time for anything else. Yeah. If anything, I it was my dad that. like, "Hey, man, turn off that. What are you doing? We gotta get back to working out and training." You know what I mean? So I can imagine my focus never. I never was able to really like get deep into mm -hmm. it you know what i mean the way that i probably would have if i my focus wasn't mm -hmm. so concentrated on other oh, stuff yeah. but i do feel like you know i feel like i'm part of hip-hop i feel like what what i do is hip-hop oh you absolutely know, man martial arts that expression and the last dragon being part of my yeah, yeah. my early days and and that culture is like more of the culture than it, mm -hmm. than it, it has been the music or mm -hmm. You know any of those other things? So. Yeah, who are your favorites to listen to? I'm kind of like still old school, you know, yeah, Jay Z, yeah, yeah. Biggie, Pac, you know, Mob Deep, uh, just the up. old school. You know, I still like '93 till like I oh, mean, yes. it's like hey, all the old. We're gonna stuff. have to let the homies uh, from High Road know that we got a sticker on here as well, man. We're gonna have to definitely let them know, man. Yeah, man, we're definitely let them know. Uh, that's really cool. That's something I always wondered. You know what I mean? Because we yeah. seen the pop log, and I was like, there's got there's a little more to that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's something, there's something more, man. And and like you were saying, I know there has to be just like a great discipline for what you're doing before, like before you were even in a movie. You were already like this badass little kid that could just do all these flips and everything. Like, tell us about like what it took to become that before you even step foot like on camera. Like, that, yeah. that's some serious, uh, serious training there, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, my dad had his martial arts school here in Campbell, like mm -hmm. pretty much before I was born. So, like when I grew up, it, my dad was still competing. Mm -hmm. uh, he was part of the United States Taekwondo team, so they were doing Taekwondo. We're talking about in like the late seventies. Uh, so I grew up with my dad, you know, being a fighter yeah, and yeah. his roommates being fighters and being martial artists. And those were my earliest memories, you know, going yeah. to the track and other little kids weren't doing that, mm -hmm. you know, and my dad was pretty much training me as an adult. Uh, it wasn't like, hey, you know, this is yeah, yeah, the, yeah, this yeah. version of it. It's just yeah. like, hey, you're going to do the same things that I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And that's just how it's going to be. And so um, it was an amazing uh, experience because at a very early age, I, yeah. I knew what it meant to train like a champion. Yeah, you yeah. were like this tall, like doing the wildest things, man. I could never do that when I was your age, man. That's Weird. at that time. That's that's insane, man. Uh, it's really cool, man. You must have had like such the craziest childhood, man, like from like. Going around watching Arnold Schwarzenegger like swing swords around in different <laughs> yeah. countries and stuff like that, man. What what was that like, man? That must have been insane, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, like you know, when we were uh, when we did Red Sonia, we filmed mm -hmm. in Italy uh, for That's four crazy. months. And That's crazy. We were huge Arnold fans already. Mm -hmm. You know, going mm -hmm. into it through, the, especially during that time. Oh yeah, he was. <laughs> you know, it's like, and yeah, you know, yeah. I'd seen him in Pumping Iron and mm -hmm. all those. Mm -hmm. All those things growing up. Um, so to work with him, riding horses, doing fight scenes, running around in castles. Oh my like, god, dude! You must have just been <laughs> Bridget Nielsen. Just, yeah, just blown, <laughs> just blown away by how awesome that was. I mean, yeah. probably that in the Last Dragon as well was probably uh, pretty cool too. I mean, it was like Motown involved with that, right? Oh yeah, and my dad, you know, we, you know, Motown. That was that's Motown. Man. We're Motown. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's so an honor like, just to be yeah, just, a part of that in yeah, general. You Barry know what Gordy. I mean? And, and it's a classic movie. Anyway. Like and I had a, you know, I did have my Vanity Six poster in the garage that I had to take down. I was like, I gotta get her to sign this. <laughs> it must be awesome, man. Just like being able to like work with your dad on stuff like that, man. Like that, that's such a, a crazy bond, man. Like I've seen some demonstration videos where I think you guys were like, you know, fighting each other and stuff like that. I, how, that must have been a crazy dynamic, man. And, and uh, he's in the, he's in the building too. We're going to get some shots of him as well, man. I'm honored, honored to see uh, that as well, man. But uh, yeah, it was kind of cool. Cause you know, when we were young, even here in, in San Jose, before we got into to movies and stuff, you know, local filmmakers, super 16, uh, choreographing 
fight scenes. Like we did that every day, you know, yeah, choreographing yeah. fight scenes, putting together skits and like mm -hmm. doing that's how we grew mm -hmm. up. So, you know, getting by the time we got into films and television, it's like we had already done everything yeah. that we needed. We You're had already ready. built. Yeah, it. yeah, you guys already were totally prepared, man. That's uh that's super crazy, man. I always wondered too, like uh what um all styles of martial arts have you have you studied? I'm I, st I started in Taekwondo. That was our original mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, boxing, uh, even from the time that I was a kid, you know, kickboxing, uh, Muay Thai, uh, Wushu, which is more of the like acrobatic, like, yeah. you know, that kind of crouching tiger stuff. Um, and then um, more recently, um, and then, of course, obviously, the evolution of MMA. Yeah. You know, yeah. everybody kind of has tracked along with that. And, and uh, you know, my dad was has always kind of trained me to be a well-rounded martial arts yeah. martial artist. But And then the Filipino, when I did at NCIS LA, uh, mm. I got into uh, some Kali. And uh, for the last couple of years, I've mm. been doing some uh, Sayak Kali which is uh, more of a bladed system. Mm. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, those are kind of pretty much my, my reference points. Taekwondo, uh, boxing, kickboxing, you know, MMA, and then, you know, a little bit of weapons. Yeah, that's super well-rounded, man. Like, I had, uh, I had heard a little something that you even had an MMA few fights, even, where you were in, uh, like, Strike Force or something, like, back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I was trying hard to find some footage and see it for myself. I heard that uh, you've been undefeated, even. Yeah, like, I had uh, four, well, three fights in Strike Force, uh, just straight Muay Thai rules. Uh, MMA wasn't really uh, yeah, yeah, as it had popular. Been, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like late 90s. But that's still cool, though, man. That's really cool, man. You know, a lot of people see, like, martial arts film stars and stuff like that. I think it's really cool to see them in an environment like that, where especially when you guys do well. I know you guys have all competed and all that kind of stuff. I think it's uh, I think it's really cool, man. I, I really uh, I really am into that sort of stuff. I've been trying to find the footage, man. I got to see it. Yeah, we'll I have to dig that up for you sometime. Yeah, no, I got to see it, man. Uh, but, uh, you know... This is a part where I really, you know, obviously really want to talk about Ninja Turtles 2. It's yeah. one of, like, the most classic, like, films, uh, you know, ever, really, to me. But, like, uh, before we go into that, I wanted to do mention that I don't know how many people do know, but you actually were Donatello in the first movie as well, correct? That's, yeah, uh, I did all the martial arts for Donatello. Um, and, uh, yeah, Pat Johnson, who was the fight cor coordinator and stunt mm. coordinator and fight choreographer. Mm. Uh, who had worked uh, on the original Karate Kid films. Oh, wow. Uh, that was, you know, actually my dad and I went down to when they were filming Karate Kid. Mm. They brought us in and this was going to be like the epic match and like Ralph Macchio was going to go into the final match. And wow. right before they were going to do a demo and they were going to bring me and my dad out to do the demo mm. like in the movie mm. and they never got around to it. And then, you know, God. I don't know, 10 years later, Pat calls me up and says, <laughs> hey, you know, doing this thing and. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> this little thing, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, did, I knew of it because I had brought bought my brother some toys earlier yeah, that yeah, Christmas, and I was hip to it, but it wasn't what it became, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, just the fact of even the first film, like when it came out, just a live Ninja Turtles movie. Like I remember, like when I was a kid, there was like a line at the movie theater to see it. Like it was crazy. Did you do like on the first film? Did you do much of like? The acting scenes in the suits are just all like the all martial, the martial arts. arts. Okay, because yeah. I was curious like how it works because I know they had uh, voiceover people doing the voices. Like when you're in a scene with people dressed as turtles, like are they actually talking or are you just trying to like act and they're pretending and then they add it later? Or, like how does that work? There's so many, unlike the original Ninja Turtles, there's so many people that uh, go into like one turtle. So there mm -hmm. will be a guy that is working the animatronics. So mm -hmm. there's somebody out there on the side that's like working the mouth or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then there's the actor like in the suit. Um, so you have the actor in the suit and the guy that's like working the facial expressions. Mm -hmm. Him, mm -hmm. They work in Tanitzen. And then there's a guy who does the voice. That's a separate guy yeah you and Corey feldman were Corey. actually the <laughs> same person yeah in that exactly movie. <laughs> we're gonna try to get him on the show as well yeah yeah and um so i just did all the martial arts man my day was basically 12 16 hours in the suit oh my god north carolina middle of summer oh, like how does that thing 100 man? i mean my body temperature would get up to like 102 degrees every day oh my like, god they let you they let you keep one uh, I think we have some, maybe somewhere, some arms and legs somewhere <laughs> lying around. They might be disintegrated by now. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So, like, how did that? Uh, how did that get you into Ninja Turtles too? They just 
They just liked what you did and what, because yeah. so to my understanding, Kino wasn't actually a, a character in like the Ninja Turtles world, right? They, did they like create him for you specifically? Yeah. That's yeah. that's got to be an honor. Yeah, it's, that's and, crazy. Well, because you know, uh, Golden Harvest, which is the film company that mm. did all the Bruce Lee, yeah, Jet tons Lee, of Jackie Chan stuff, all yeah. that. They were the uh, producers of the original films. Mm. A lot of people don't remember that part of it. It was mm. like, hey, this was a real martial arts yeah, no, movie making was, company doing Ninja Turtles, not just a company doing movies, yeah, like a martial yeah. arts movie company. Yeah. So uh, the executives were just, you know, they were like, hey, man, you know, he speaks English and <laughs> he can do martial arts. In the original film, they were all Hong Kong stunt guys. And yeah. One of the guys broke his back. Uh, during mm, pre-production, that's damn. how I got called in. So, oh, okay, well, yeah. hey, it was meant to be, I guess, man. Yeah. That's cool, man. I, I, that's really dope. It must have been like just such a crazy time in your life because it was like the second film was like one of the biggest things ever. You know what I mean? Like it was huge. Like what? What was your life like during that time? Like well, what? I mean, I was like... Uh, you have such a likable character, you know what I mean? You, I, I've never heard nobody be like, man, <laughs> Kino and Ninja Turtles 2 sucked. Like, yeah. nobody says that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it was... I mean, I was just uh, graduating high school. It was like yeah, my oh, senior yeah. year in high school. Oh, yeah. I was Ninja Turtles. I mean, you couldn't ask for like... <laughs> you know, it's like, yo, things are great, man. Like, I mean, it was just like... The, I can imagine, I mean, it was just an amazing time. I can imagine. Did you hang out with Vanilla Ice? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> it's yeah. funny that song is it, like people like to call it like one hit wonder, but that song, that Go Ninja Go Ninja Go, was a big <laughs> record too, man. Like, huge, huge. <laughs> yeah, I think even like just the intro of that movie, just like all of like the big giant pizza and all that kind of stuff, it just really sucked you in, man. Maybe you want to go to New York, man. But uh, obviously, that led into probably the success. I would imagine led into Surf Ninjas, perhaps. Yeah, a new line. Same thing. Uh, Ninja Turtles was a, a new line thing. And the opening weekend after Turtles 2 came out, they mm -hmm. were like, hey, we want to do movies with you. You know, well, maybe you and Jackie Chan. Yeah, they were or, doing some martial arts stuff on yeah, New Line at, yeah. around that time. Maybe man. you and Hulk Hogan. Maybe oh, yeah. you, they're trying to figure it out. You yeah, know? What, what the uh, best pick would be, man. That's crazy, dude. It's cool again. You got to have your dad right there in the film as well, man. If you want to come up, man, Mr. Ernie Reyes Sr., yeah, come in here for a second. Yeah, man, we got it. We got to get a shot of you, man. Thank you so much, man. It's such an honor to meet you, man. Oh, it's great to be here, man. Thank you. So, oh, yeah, pound. Let's, let's pound it. Let's <laughs> pound it. Let's pound it, man. What was it like for you getting to work with your son on on uh, Surf Ninjas and whatnot? It must have been crazy. Yeah, it was a phenomenal journey in our life to be able to share all the moments of just having martial arts, like Ernie Jr. was saying, as our roots, and never really even thinking about it when we first started. Uh, Ernie, you talked about martial arts for life, and really I believe martial arts for life for us is something yeah. that we truly train, we teach it, we live and love it. And it's great to be alive because Ernie had his condition, and the beginning of this year in um, February on my birthday, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, man. So I had to have an operation. Uh, we had a big mastery test that was coming in June, too, that I'd been pre preparing people for the last three years. And I said, you know what? I've got to be there for my people, right? He goes, if you don't take care of this in the stage that you might possibly get into, it might be over for you. Yeah. So I had to end up taking care of that. And thank God, you know, I'm good and everything came hey, out. We're all so good. glad that both of you are doing good, man, because... <laughs> Man, 2016 has been pretty cruel. Man, you know what I mean? We're man. glad to have you guys. We support everything you guys do, most definitely, man. Like, uh, you know, we moto surfed on the way over here. <laughs> I was going to bring some paddles, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, like in the film, those other guys, when you had to duck down, that was us in real life on the way up here. So we didn't get to moto surf, but uh, must have been a cool experience. Where'd you guys film that at anyway? Was it Thailand? Thailand? Yeah. 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 That's cool, man. Must have been cool running around there, man. We got a lot of fans on uh, Facebook and stuff saying they want to hear you do the Baba Ram. <laughs> yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, Ram. No. <laughs> you don't want to hear me start saying it. <laughs> there we Stay go, man. Punching, right? well, how do you guys feel about kind of like the, the cult status that it's achieved? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like some movies, like, 
years later after they come out like develop this crazy fan base over time as well like have you, how do you guys feel about that i'm sure you guys have got some crazy like love off of that movie man. yeah it's amazing because at the moment in time you know we're just doing our thing but it's you know how many how many years has it been you know it's 25 like, years it's still yeah, great and people, i watched it last night <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna lie people come up to me and uh even Nate Diaz, right? Yeah, I, I Nate saw him. Stockton. That's <laughs> our hometown saw, boy right I there. I saw him at one of these uh, UFC conventions. He goes, hey! Oh, yeah, you, he definitely right? knows, man. And, uh, <laughs> he, he definitely he, knows. He really man. loved that as as one of his greatest movies of all time. <laughs> no, so, dude, they're they're big into thing, the martial man. arts films yeah, right yeah, time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, much love for the Diaz. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Stockton all day, man. Yeah. You know we're you know who we're rooting for. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you guys got a, got a school in my hometown in Stockton as well, man. So if you're in Stockton... Right down the Miracle Mile. Come train, man. Come train. Um, you guys had the Game Gear game and everything that was on. You, you yeah, play much video Sega. games in between everything. I had the I had the Game Gear game of Surf Ninjas. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> it's got to be cool to be to be in a video game, man. Um, but you know, right now I want to talk about like uh, a film that I feel is like super underrated of yours, and it's like it's not the typical thing we would expect from Ernie Reyes Jr. Um, but uh, it's a it's a great film, and if you guys haven't seen it, it's Pool Hall Junkies, man. I love that movie. I'm I'm real curious, like what led to you to like get a part like that where they didn't even allow you to like beat nobody up or do anything. Like it really got to show your comedic side. You know what I mean? I liked it, man. Yeah, thanks, man. I, I love that movie. Actually. I love it too. Man. It's <laughs> great. It's a great movie. Yeah, it's uh, Mars uh, Callahan, the director uh, and the writer and mm -hmm. the star of that film. Uh, I've known for a while. And um, we, you know, used to hang around and see each other at Hollywood Billiards and mm. all of that. And uh, and then, yeah, he called me up and was like, hey, so you man. you play pool a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, man. Okay. I, can, I can shoot some pool. Okay. Okay. I mean, actually, my dad shoots pretty good <laughs> pool, too. So. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, man, to work with, like, Rod Steiger and, like, Christopher Walken. I and, know, man. Oh, I my mean, God. You know, it was, it was a really – I was actually one of my you – know, proudest moments as an actor you know i do all the action stuff mm -hmm. and whatever i was like but you know i'm in here hanging with these guys that like yeah. major actors and it was like it's really actually one of i don't think enough films. people talk about that movie like i love that movie like i've been watching it for a lot of years and i had to i had to get your thoughts on it because <laughs> it was just like it was such a crazy thing and with christopher walking and all that stuff do you have any like uh stories or memories like meeting him at all yeah you know it's funny because we were in the uh makeup chair and um and we're sitting there and I was just, there was another one of those moments I was mm. telling you about, like with LL Cool J. Yeah, where I was yeah. like, damn, that's Christopher Walken. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm sitting there, right? And we're sitting in the makeup chair and I'm looking at him in the mirror or whatever. And he's, and he goes, you know, so I was watching Jerry Springer last night. And he goes into this whole thing about Jerry Springer. And I'm not, I do terrible, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, imitation of Christopher Walken. But he goes into this whole thing about watching Jerry Springer. And I was just like, that was the most amazing thing yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> so, man, that was... Yeah, uh, Jerry Springer had a little uh, hot streak at that time, too, yeah. man, with all the too hot for TV videos yeah. and all that kind of stuff. They were on it back then, man. <laughs> and then I got to, to work with him again in uh, in the rundown, so that yeah, was kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, My yeah. two Christopher Walken. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely a, a good life experience, man. It's funny, we were actually uh, going to get into the rundown right now, man. Uh, working on being able to work with the rock and all that kind of stuff like how does it happen are you just like known in the industry as like the guy that if you just need like a quick crazy fight scene they just call you is that is that how it works yeah it's like badass for hire yeah that's that's really that's really what it is man you beat up the rock like like uh like when it comes to like choreographing and filming like start to finish like how long like a scene like that like how long does it take to like choreograph it and film it like what, what what goes into that explain uh probably i don't know maybe about three weeks i'd say uh just kind of estimate um of you know first week trying to put pieces together andy chang who was the uh, stunt coordinator and fight choreographer on the rundown amazing guy stunt double for jackie chan part of jackie chan's stunt team yep. i mean he was coming up with crazy i mean you saw the, the, yeah, uh, the stunts in that it's just, insane uh, dude. if you guys ain't seen it man it's one of those movies where, like, I feel like they didn't even, like, really promote that you were heavily in it. It's like, if you watched the movie, and if you didn't know that it was you, you may have missed it. You know what I mean? I saw it was like, wait a minute. You yeah. know what I mean? I well, know who that is. Yeah, most people, I mean, in between uh, Surf Ninjas, mm -hmm. there wasn't really anything that came out. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, until the rundown, except Pool Hall Junkies yeah. and a couple other yeah, indie yeah, films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some people I haven't so, seen you in a while at that point. You know what I mean? It kind of threw me off guard. I kind of felt that way with the Indiana Jones thing as well. Oh, it's yeah. like, if you blink, you missed it. Like yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. just got to really know that it's there, man. But one very important um, cameo that I have to talk about. Yeah. You have to bring this up. Like, right. I am a super, super, super Jackie Chan fan. Yes. Okay? And... I've met the guy maybe like six times or so, like in my childhood. Very nice man. One of the the coolest human beings like ever existed. But uh, the Rush Hour 2 cameo, man, I know everybody's wondering, (laughs) why why, why is there no fight? How did it get you in a Rush Hour movie? Like it's like two of the greatest together. You know what I mean? Like how did that happen? Do they just want to give you a little nod real quick? I think so, yeah. You know, Brett Ratner um, had called up the agent and was like, you know, hey, we want, you know, Ernie and whatever, mm-hmm. and there's going to be a fight scene and blah, blah, blah. And it didn't end up being anything yeah, other yeah. than what it was. But man, I, you know, grew up Jackie Chan, like comedy, man, martial arts, how action. Amazing. I mean, dude is I mean, absolutely incredible, man. Uh, but yeah, I, w- I always wanted to know that, man. You could, you know, you could have let him kick somebody. Could yeah. let him throw one kick. Yeah, or one at least kick. at least let Jackie Chan beat me up. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> well, that's cool. I think we're going to go right now and take in a couple of fan questions from the social media. Let me bring this stuff up here. The first question from, I think you may have seen this one on Twitter, from TMNT Fan Official asks, why did we never get a Surf Ninjas 2? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I know Warner Brothers now owns the library mm-hmm. uh, of all of New Line's um, titles. Uh, so that would be a Warner Brothers thing, but man, mm-hmm. I would love to see you know. You guys both in? Yeah, you guys yeah, both yeah. in? We're ready to go. Come on, Rob. Come <laughs> yeah, on, Rob. Yeah, there we go. What if? <laughs> must have, must have been crazy, man. Working with like Rob Snyder at that time, and like even Leslie Nielsen and stuff. Like, yeah, man. man, do you have any uh, any kind of stories with Leslie Nielsen or anything? Because he is like a a comedic genius, man. It's yeah, just to be I able mean, to be around. Really, him. the time that he came in is. Uh, again, he was a big draw, like yeah. whatever. But I, he pretty much went in there, did his thing, and he was pretty much out. Yeah, okay, okay. Not too much experience with yeah. him, huh? Okay. Well, that's cool. It's still amazing, nonetheless, to be to share the screen on him, man. Um, oh, yeah. Next question we have is kind of a two-part question from the homeboy, Theo Kane. He's all the way from the UK. He's really into um, same type of movie stuff that I'm into. So he wanted to ask, he said, his fanboy question is, what are your memories working with Arnold Schwarzenegger on Red Sonja? He said it's one of his all-time favorite Schwarzenegger films, man, with the crazy giant mechanical tarantula and all that <laughs> stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, working with Arnold, we actually got to train with him, like, you know, wow. almost like every day. Like, we'd go wow. to do a long day of, well, you know, Well, he's in the gym out. a lot like you guys. Yeah, we were hitting yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like 12 years old. I'm like, yeah, I can do some bench press, too. <laughs> <laughs> I give him my little flex off, give him yeah. my little posing routine. I'm like, what's up, Arnold? There you go. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, amazing. Yeah, but one, one thing is, again, you know, we have long hours, right? Yeah. You're on those sets, you're going 12, 16 hours. But one thing is for sure, and we made sure we did the same thing. He always worked out. Oh, no, yeah, no matter I'm sure. what, no matter how yeah. late. He's Once you have work. that mentality, yeah, man, he, you he feel weird sure, if you're not in there. Yeah, he made yeah. sure. So that was a, a great mindset thing that was stuck in my mind. No matter what, hey, this guy's going to pushed you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pushed you guys too. That's awesome. He, man. One day he came back, uh, it was, we just finished working, and he handed uh, my dad and I a VHS uh, tape. And he was like, hey, this is a movie that I just finished and it's going to mm. come out this summer. So we went back to the hotel. We popped in the VHS, the VHS. and yeah. Terminator came up. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know the exact timeline. Like Red Sonja, that was OK. So before After Terminator. Conan. After, After Conan. Conan. Okay, before yeah, that was Terminator. A, that's a crazy time. That's a crazy time yeah. in, in Arnold Schwarzenegger's life. man. Yeah. Um, his second question is like a, a director. Uh, type question. He said, what do you find more rewarding or stressful acting or like directing, choreographing stuff? And what's the most fun? Acting's a, a lot of fun. You know, you don't, you can focus on just your thing and then mm. like, you don't have to really like worry about that. You know, the choreography and doing the fight scenes, that can be pretty stressful, you know, to try to, I mean, we've been doing it our whole life. So for us, it's like, it, you know, it's like probably like music for you. It's like, it's who you are. So you yeah, don't ever yeah. want to just go on there and, oh, don't worry about it. Just do this or that. You're like, that's not really like that's not yeah, how we yeah. come like when yeah. we do it we so it's hard to be able to kind of work in environments sometimes where 
you don't have time or you don't have money or you don't this or you don't that and you're still trying to get the fight scene the, the way you want it and yeah. then it doesn't really come out exactly the way yeah, you know yeah. we've had a lot of those yeah. and one know. thing too on Surf Ninjas really to be honest with you all the fight scenes were one take Wow. Yeah. They spent a lot of time, time. 30 takes. Oh, I can't get, they can't dance right. Do it again, right? So, all the acting, they had pretty much as many, as many retakes as they wanted doing. When it came to our fight scene, okay, the sun's going down. You don't have that much time. You got to <laughs> make what you had to do. And we did it on one take. So, it was wow. pretty awesome. How that is pretty we amazing, were. man. And, just, and, uh, if you just, see all the fight scene, there's quite a few fight scenes. Yeah, there, they're right? hard, man. The restaurant one is yeah. crazy. Like, just, just the look of the whole film is like, very nostalgic to just the whole era just like the way you guys dress the colors that everything is used like it's just very nostalgic to that time period you man. saw me rocking the san jose sharks <laughs> right, yeah, right back in the day yes sir well <laughs> that's it for the fan questions um if you would like your question featured on the show make sure you know you follow us on social media and anytime i have an upcoming podcast i'm gonna make a post and you guys can get your chance so definitely do that man um what my question is? What's a, what is like a, a a typical like workout for you? Like just a regular like what what does that consist of? Like just on the daily? Uh, uh, on the daily, kind of maybe just like some road work in the morning time, running a um, couple miles, two three miles in the morning. Just kind of more recently, this is what it would be like, and then hitting the gym, uh, boxing, kickboxing, that kind of stuff, um, and then you know that that weightlifting calisthenics it's pretty much just a all-around thing you know and there's a lot of different uh things that you have to mm -hmm. kind of balance mm -hmm. in the training so a typical day would be some sort of cardio thing running martial arts or boxing kickboxing uh you know and then maybe once or twice a week doing some weapon to work or something like that man that's that's cool man um well, we have reached the point of the show that uh every guest i give a top three to everybody and every guest gets a different top three based on who they are and okay. i would like to add you in this time for you your top three for today is who are your top three all-time martial arts film stars now i want you to take a moment to think about it okay all right i'm gonna while you guys think about it, i'm gonna take a moment that i want to thank all the fans for watching it really means a lot to us man uh Starting this crazy new podcast has been quite the journey, man. Uh, if you ever feel like you want to support us in any way, the best things you can do to help is just share the links. It's highly important, man, so people can watch um, on your social media. Another way is if, uh, you know, subscribe. You can click right there. Subscribe on YouTube. Um, we also have the audio versions available on iTunes, so please find outside the box on iTunes and subscribe. Even if you're uh, even if you're not planning to listen to the audio, it will help keep us on the front page of the iTunes charts. So very very big, very helpful. Um, if you have a little uh, loot and you want to help, you could donate to awkwardsbiz at gmail.com straight through PayPal. We uh, we need anything we can for like gas and color correcting and all the crazy weird tasks that we have to do to put this thing together. It all really helps. We have sponsorships. Uh, if you want to get your product shown, all that stuff is available. Just email OKWERDZBIZ at gmail.com and we'll have all that popping up magically. But that being said, we're back in the hot seat with Ernie Reyes Jr. Sr. and Jr. for the top three martial arts film stars of all time. Whoever wants to go first. I'm going to give mine too, but I'm going to let you guys go first. Okay. So what do you want to do? All these but goodies or what? <laughs> all go, time, just first. whatever. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't. Cool. I mean, whoever. All time, whoever you like. So this is uh, my 50th year anniversary of training in martial arts. Whew. Congratulations. Uh, I'm 70 man. years old and I train every day every single day and martial arts is 24 7. so who my heroes have been to inspire and motivate me yes, is, this is of be. course bruce lee mm -hmm. jackie chan and ernie reyes jr <laughs> awesome that's a, that's, a, that's a great great top three what about you for me bruce lee that's like my number one uh hands down for sure you can never argue that yeah and um i like yun biao Oh, God, he's amazing, amazing. Shouts uh, to Sam Hung as well, man. You know, because uh, a lot of what I did grew up, growing up was kind of acrobatic as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, no, he's very agile. Yeah. And then number three, man, uh, that's a tough one. Um, See, that's what I like about these top threes. I like making, giving you those moments. You know what? <sighs> mm, that's an interesting one, man. 
I'd say the one person more recently mm. that I that came out that you know because I'm like an action star snob like it's like, eh, <laughs> no, you, it's I like, mean with as skilled as you are <laughs> Bruce I mean, Lee if like you're not coming like Bruce Lee yeah, I'm not, like no, hearing you no you know, exactly like, no I I couldn't so, agree more man. but like I really Tony Ja as far as like Amazing. you know a, a athletic like just at pure athleticism in the action genre. I haven't seen like he really he's amazing. Like I was like, wow, amazing. that yeah. was awesome. So. I would agree out of new people, he's the best one. Yeah, I, I exactly. like him the best out of new people. Uh, for but me, but gently, I, I like yeah, as well, oh, yeah. of course. Oh, there's you know. so many. I mean, you just go on and on. Yeah, there's so many greats. I think for me, I mean, obviously Jackie Chan's gonna be number one for me. Like that was like he's still like uh, I'm still you know almost emotional that he got an Oscar. You know what I mean? Yeah, like man. that's that's that amazing. amazing to me, man. Uh, big influence in my life. Like obviously I don't do martial arts, yeah. but. Uh, just on like work ethic and, and a lot of the you know principles that he has in his life is a huge influence on me in life. So I gotta give him number one. Number two, I gotta give Bruce Lee. Obviously, like you can't can't have this list without Bruce Lee on yeah, it. it. Just yeah. just doesn't exist. And then third, uh, I think I'm gonna go with Ernie Reyes Jr. myself, yeah! man. <laughs> but we gotta get we gotta give honorable mention to Tony Jaw though. I'm a huge yeah. Tony Jaw fan. I think he is crazy, man. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, dude. Well, I appreciate you talking to me, man. This has been such a like crazy show, man. If you can tell the people where they can find you guys on social media, if they want to, uh, you yeah. know, hit you up and tell you. Yeah, Ernie Reyes Jr. Uh, Instagram, Ernie Reyes Jr. Twitter, uh, blackbelttrainingcamp.com. dot uh, com. You can get my journal, autograph TMNT photos, autograph Surf Ninja photos. I'll have some other a, a product coming up soon. So blackbelttrainingcamp.com and Ernie Reyes Jr. Excellent. Perfect, man. And uh, is there any other ones that you have? As uh, just ErnieReyes.com. Perfect, perfect. Uh, follow me as well on uh, all social media, Awkwards on Twitter and uh, Awkwards209 on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitch, all that good stuff. You can find me. That's O-K-W-E-R-D-Z. And uh, before we got to get out of here, one of our uh, main things that we do is we got to have you sign the tablecloth. So uh, go yeah. ahead and uh, pick a pen that you guys like and just sign wherever you want, man. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. This, uh, this tablecloth is going to get pretty epic after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Such a surprise to have you here as well, man. I'm I'm so pumped up about this. This is cool, man. Appreciate you guys and uh, keep on fighting strong, man. You guys do oh. a great job, man. Hey, thank you, man. If you want to take us out of here, if you got a little move or something you could do or something you could show us, perhaps. Just, you don't have to do nothing crazy because we're sitting down. Maybe like some kind of move. Just take us out of here. Ah! Thanks for watching Outside the Box, y'all. Outside the Box, boy. Bye.